Uh, I got a great show for you guys today. Hopefully you all enjoy your 4th of July celebrations. Happy Independence Day to everybody that actually values and loves this country, respects this country, understands the opportunities that have been granted um, through sacrifice and hard work and just sweat and tears, um, making this country one of the greatest countries on the planet in the universe. Um, we got to remember why this country you know, it is one of the greatest. And and it, and it wasn't done through being lazy and, 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 you know, pointing the fingers and crying people. It took sacrifice. It took hard work. It took loss of lives, you know, and, and it took time. Uh, and the country has grown so much from when it first began. So this is happy birthday to America. Um, you know, those two founding documents, that Declaration of Independence and that Constitution, you know, this is definitely a day to celebrate. But unfortunately... We have people in this country that, although they still celebrate with family and family reunions and go to cookouts and concerts and go to see fireworks, we still have people in this country that are just anti-American. Uh, and they are going to push their anti-American rhetoric, their anti-white rhetoric, uh, and they're going to continue to spew things that are going to divide us in this country. So my job is to point it out so that you guys are aware from an educational standpoint, but also debunk it. So this first person, which is a nobody, she's constantly being posted on um, Dr. Boyce's page. Um, so I'm even going to say her name. I'll just refer to her as Shaquisha. But here she is talking about Independence Day, which we all know what the purpose of Independence Day, 4th of July, 1776, the Declaration of Independence, the day that America became independent, a free country, which is still the country that leads the free world. Still the country that has people waiting on the list by the millions to come into this country. Still the country where even though we have a, a, a forced upon us admi a, a administration allows the border to be wide open and people flock here by the hundreds of thousands. This is the same country, America, the, the land of the free, the land of opportunity, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, that country, the country that has the Constitution, that a lot of these anti-American people leverage and use so that they can voice their opinions on the same country that they hate so much that they ain't leave yet. They haven't packed up their bags and left yet. But I'll digress. So this first person's up talking about Independence Day. I'm going to let the video roll. So, um, and then I'll give you my commentary. Um, roll the clip. So I just want to say, you don't see the fundamental difference of being black and white in America. A white guy can go into a grocery store and create a bloodbath of black folks, walk out and be arrested like a gentleman. Meanwhile, a black boy at the age of 25 years old, without a gun, gets shot 60 times. Y'all keep talking about we all equal around here. I'm just trying to figure out how does a mass murderer walk out without a touch on his body? And an unarmed black man get shot 60 times. I'm just saying, is it just me who's witnessing these two different Americas? Or is it you as well? Uh, no, it's just you. It's just you. There isn't no two different Americas. There's only one. Um, but there's two different types of people in this country. There's people that's like you that are anti-American and anti-white because it's clear. You use examples of something comparing to white, someone white um, committing a heinous crime to someone being black, and you referenced it in a mass shooting compared to someone that, what I'm getting ready to break down the facts. I just did a video on this. His name is, the person she's referring to that was shot um, between 50 to 60 times is what they claim. Uh, his name is uh, Jalen Walker, another viral celebrity criminal. I just did a video on it, so make sure you go check it out. It was my last post. Um, but she's talking about the Buffalo mass shooting where them black folks that was killed up there in Buffalo, New York. And, and she's upset. Her anger and hatred and resentment's displaying itself towards white folks. Her racism towards white folks is di displaying itself. She's talking about how, how did that man commit such a heinous act and yet he gets put in handcuffs and walks gently to put into the car and off to the, to the, um, to the jail and to prison where he's going to rot. The reason why they did that is because he gave himself up. He cooperated. He complied. Regardless of his heinous crime, he complied. Now, I could question, well, I don't understand why the police probably wouldn't just, like Trump said, bang his head up against the daggone car door after he just committed this heinous act. But, hey, they're doing their job. The man surrendered. He complied. And he, he cooperated all the way to the car, in which now he'll he'll— 
uh, get his due process, which is a part of our, our country. D despite whatever you're being accused of, you get d due process. And he'll go through the court process and be sentenced and probably rot in, 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 uh, in prison. May even be sentenced to the death penalty. But you compare that guy that complied compared to another guy, Jalen Walker, who didn't comply. Here's a guy that got stopped on his, claiming, uh, apparently, this is a, 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 a supposedly, uh, was on his way to work. Three in the morning, he gets pulled over with a busted hit taillight. And instead of pulling over and complying with the law enforcement, he stomps on the gas and he goes on a high-speed chase. And while in a high-speed chase, turning a simple uh, traffic stop into what, what goes left into a public danger. He's on a high-speed chase. Not only on a high-speed chase, he, he, he starts shooting out of the car at the police. So eventually he jumps out of a moving car and starts to flee while the police are already at high alert because he shot at them. He's already a public danger. This is not a simple traffic stop anymore. He's not innocent anymore. He makes, he turns, he's making body motions and gestures that possibly the, the officers feel that they put their lives in danger and they, they stop the threat. So I, I don't know what, where she, where she gets this from of not recognizing and understanding that America is, is the independence day. It still is the free world uh, that leads the world in being free. It still is the, one of the greatest countries to live in uh, anywhere else. I don't see her packing up her bags and going to Africa wearing daishikis. She's still here complaining, grifting, lining her pockets off of selling a, a, a victimhood in this country as if black people are like we're being hunted down. That's why. So it ain't a two, it ain't two Americas. There isn't no two Americas. It's just people that's like you and people that's like me that can see the truth. So, you know, she's just one of many. Um, let's move on to the next one. The next one is Leslie Jones. She's an actor. We've seen her probably on Orange is the New Black. She's in a few movies. She's a comedian. But she's with the rhetoric bullshit, too. What's up, y'all? I was going to write a post out, but um, I just feel like I need to say this. You know, I would say happy 4th of July, but it's not really a happy 4th of July, is it? Because 4th of July is supposed to stand for independence and, you know, how a country fought for freedom, all this stuff. But this ain't the land of the free. Yes, y'all taking away women's rights. You're trying to take away voters' rights. You, you're you you're not representing anything that this holiday is supposed to be about. You know, um, I, I I listen to the Star Spangled Banner and all of that, and I go, this is not the land of the free. This is not nothing that we're saying that it is. Nothing, nothing. So it's hard for me to say Happy Fourth of July because it feels like. We going back to slavery, you know, so maybe I should say happy back to slavery day. Oh, my God. Because if we don't do something, Can't there will be no Independence up, Day for anyone. Yeah. Well, no, no. Uh, it's, it's this type of fear mongering that drives me up the wall. I always say it. Everything rises and falls on leadership. Unfortunately, there is a lot of black folks in this country that watch the shows that she will be featured on. BET, rap videos, and, and commercials on how to get you out of debt. Listening to Charlemagne the Devil on The Breakfast Club with Angela Lee. It, it's these shows that people like her are featured on. It's these shows that people like D.L. Hughley, Sean Queen, and a lot of these other black liberals that work for the machine that push these narratives that divide us in this country. No one took women's rights, man. The Roe versus Way overruling did not take women's rights at all. All they did was take it from the federal level and put it back into the state's hand. She can still vote and use her voice through her vote. If she don't like it, there will always be a liberal shithole state that she can pack her bags up and move over there if she's all about abortions. No one has taken any women's rights whatsoever. None. The woman still has full control over her body. It's called be responsible. And then the voter rights. Who is taking voters' rights, man? Uh, instilling, uh, in, uh, instilling laws and policies to keep um, electric slide integrity. I have to use code words um, to 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 create integrity, to keep integrity in our process of electing um, our leader to lead this country, versus it being installed, is not racist. 
requiring someone to have an ID to vote is not racist. No one took anybody's voter rights. But it's this type of fear mongering, this type of wolf tickets and separation that these black liberals and white liberals push in this country that separate us. It's a lie. It's a lie, lie, lie. I can't stand it. It was um in in um I'll give you an example. In Georgia, Stacey Abrams said that this that the whole state was just a shithole. It sucked. That because they were passing all these laws requiring IDs or such, it, it was just a Jim Crow 2.0. But then come to find out they had more greater outcomes in voter registration than they ever had under what she said was Jim Crow. So requiring the ID is not taking your voter rights. It's condescending, and it's a euphemism that you continue to use rhetoric like this as if black people are inferior and can't get IDs. You are, she doesn't even know that she's aligning with the racist-ass Democratic Party that tells black folks they ain't black if they don't vote for, for the Democratic Party. They, they, they slave master Joe Biden that they don't know how to use the Internet or get IDs. You can't make this shit up. But here's the thing. They say that it's the land of the free and opportunity. It is. I, I can pull up. I pulled up Rihanna. We all know who Rihanna is. She makes that suicidal poetry on a good beat. We know she the one that got into that altercation with Chris Brown. We know that the, the attitude that's constantly displayed by Shaquishas of this society uh, inflict scratching and carrying on and abusive uh, relationships amongst a man and a woman. Yeah, this Rihanna. Yeah, the Rihanna that is now a billionaire that's a baby mama. Ain't even married to the man that knocked her up. She's a damn baby mama. Yeah, this this ain't land of the free. Rihanna now the youngest self-made millionaire in America. I'm going to read it for you. This is an article. You can look it up. You can fact check me. Rihanna now is the youngest self-made billionaire in America. According to Forbes, the 34-year-old is worth about $1.4 billion for the third year in a row. The, Bar the Barbados native made the publication's annual list of America's richest self-made women. But this ain't the land of the free. So th this it's this type of fear-mongering that drives me up the wall. It's a lie. You're lying. These these celebrities work for the machine. They are lying to the, 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 the rest of us. And, and it's sad that we have a collective groupthink that goes along and, and, and eats this stuff up. It's sweet to their ear. But then they'll come on my channel and say, I'm a sellout. Because I'm telling y'all the damn truth. There is nothing that stops you in this country from being able to do what you want to do. Here is a $1.4 billion worth young woman at 34 that's a baby mama. I mean, you, there is nothing that stops you in this country. Nothing. It's hard work, dedication, and never giving up. Educating yourself, learning new skills, and applying those skills, and taking them to the marketplace, and adding value to your constituent. Value to others. And in return, it will reward you. It's very simple. It's education. It's not being a thug. It's not shaking your ass all day and wasting your money at the clubs, wasting time when you should have stayed at home and got rest so that you can get your ass up and go to work the next day. It's not the bad attitude of trying to fight your man. It's not the bad attitude of you trying to fight people in McDonald's and in airports. This is a great country. It's just you guys. Y'all are the ones that think and look at it. You know why? Because you haven't taken that veil off. You look through a lens. I, I cannot imagine looking at life through a lens of everything is black and white. That somehow that there's someone on the 13th floor collaborating to hold you down. That, oh, Le LeBron James is right. The cops are out here hunting black folks down. I cannot imagine, man. I don't know. I'm not going to make it long. Put it in the comments what y'all thoughts are. Um, please, if it's your first time uh, watching, please subscribe. Like, comment, share. It can save somebody's life. We truly have a country to save. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Craig Long 45, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, oi. <laughs>